Hi students, uh, in this video I am going to explain the topic Resolving Power of Optical Instruments. Uh, this is Wave Optics chapter and page number 372 NCRT volume 2. Now, in while studying the diffraction concept, you have seen that uh, for a light coming from a single slit, it is made to pass through lens this parallel light coming from a slit it is made to pass through a lens uh, the intensity pattern on the screen you have uh, a central maxima and then the intensity of the secondary minima it keeps on decreasing it keeps on decreasing this central maxima so at the center we will get the center we will get a bright spot. There is a bright spot. Then there is a dark region, and again then again you will get a bright spot. Uh, the thickness of this bright spot. So you will get continuous bright spot and dark spot, and the thickness of this bright spot will keep on decreasing so this is the central bright spot central bright spot and uh, the radius radius of this uh, uh, bright spot central bright spot it is given by relation r radius is 0.61 lambda f phi now if this uh, lens it has a diameter twice a and this is a so this is the radius of this central bright spot now let's see what is the implication of this so, so now we have the radius of the bright spot formed in the diffraction pattern as R0 equal to 0.61 lambda f by a. Lambda is the wavelength of light, f is the focal length of the lens, and a is half the aperture. Twice a is the aperture of the convex lens used. Now, suppose you have two stars which are just resolved. Two stars which are just resolved. That means if they are closer than the present location, they will not be resolved. So, and the, the this or or you have such an objective of the telescope such, such that it is able to resolve those two stars. So, so suppose this is one star, and this is another star. So these are the two stars, and. Uh, they are forming image so for this maxima this is maxima obtained at this particular position for this this is the center point of the maxima so suppose this is the intensity pattern So this intensity pattern will be such that the central maxima, this is central maxima of one will coincide with the minima. So this is the minima of the other. Similarly, this is the central maxima of this image and this is the minima of the first image or the other image. So this is the minimum condition for resolution. The minimum condition of resolution is maxima of 1 maxima of 1 must coincide coincides with first minima of other image okay so this is the condition for 
कंडीशन फॉर रिजोल्यूशन कंडीशन फॉर रिजोल्यूशन ओके मैक्सिम ऑफ वन कोई विद फर्स्ट मिनिमम ऑफ अदर इमेज सो दिस इज द मैक्सिम ऑफ वन इमेज एंड दिस इज द मिनिम ऑफ द अदर इमेज दे कोई ओके सो नाउ इफ दिस टू स्टार्स आर जस्ट रिजोल्व बाई the lens which is convex lens placed at this particular point so if this is the lens position of the lens star's position will be infinity now if star's position is infinity the lens will form the image at its focus so this is the f, f is the focal length now suppose this delta theta is the angle of resolution angle of resolution this is the minimum angle means if the angle is smaller than this this angle delta theta then you will not be able to differentiate these two stars as two separate stars you will be observing the, the two stars as a single star okay so now from this point to this point so this is see uh, this is this is one bright spot this is another bright spot okay so this is the center of this image this is the center of the other image so this this is the radius so this is the radius of this central spot this is also the radius of this central spot and we know that the this radius is r not equal to 0.61 lambda f by a isn't it acha now in this triangle delta theta angle can i write this angle equal to arc length by radius what is arc length r not so i can write delta theta is equal to r not by f so from this i can write r not is equal to f into delta theta f into delta theta but this r not is also equal to 0.61 lambda f by a so this f and f cancels out so what do we have delta theta is equal to 0.61 lambda by a now for good resolution this angle should be small for good resolution delta theta should be small now as you can see delta theta it is inversely proportional to a that means for good resolution delta theta should be small and the a should be large so it is for this reason we say that if we want to have a telescope with good resolution its objective must have a large diameter large diameter okay so this is about the resolving power of a telescope